Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'm out here in my leather shop. I just got finished working on this uh, sheath right here, and I told you in another video I was going to show you what it looked like when I got finished with it. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. This sheath right here is a uh, sheath a customer contacted me about and wanted to uh, make a sheath for his knife. So uh, I gave it a try there, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, he has a case CT1 Hunter fixed blade knife and uh, I had never heard of one and uh, so I went and looked it up and everything and uh, I got some specs on it and uh, I built this sheath off of base of the specs and uh, looking online seeing what, what shape blade it had and everything and uh, I think it turned out pretty good um, generally you would like to have a knife to test fit one but I'm pretty certain it's going to be uh, right on right there whenever he gets it. So uh, ideally, you know, it's better to have a knife so you can actually, you know, test fit it. But I use my computer and some uh, country boy ingenuity, I guess you can say, to try to, you know, figure it out exactly the size of it, the shape of it. And the modern technology, I think I was able to figure it out. If not, I wouldn't have been comfortable enough to uh, try to... Uh, uh, build one but uh, the sheath here is made of eight nine ounce leather and uh, they uh, he wanted the original sheath he got is black and he wanted a brown sheath and uh, he wanted some uh, copper rivets and I told him I had ordered some rivets stuff and uh, what I ordered here these are these quick uh, set type rivets which you know I particularly you know they are you know but they're plated so that's something to always keep in mind these are plated type uh, rivets right here then I ordered some of these uh, copper rivets and burrs like saddle makers are used and uh, this first time I ever using them and I tell y'all I really like these these are tough as nails uh, these will last a lot longer than these here plus these are these are you know patina with time which i think will look real nice you know with age and uh let me show you the tool right here also in case y'all that's a 14 gauge uh of rivets that i bought and uh, this tool right here is the uh, tool i bought uh, it's a weaver rivet and burr setter so i'm gonna show y'all that right there and it worked real good you know i got better tools than this it's probably like an entry level type tool but it, uh, it does a good job still setting these uh, rivets right here. But uh, he wanted a basket weave uh, stamp on it. So I was able to do that for him, no problem. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, he, he specified he just wanted like a uh, medium brown color. So uh, what I used there was an uh, EcoFlow uh, timber brown dye. So that's what we used uh, to get this uh, sheath that color right there. And I always like put multiple coats of the um, a neat soot oil on it. And uh, also my beeswax uh, polish leather conditioner that I make. So uh, I think it turned out real good, y'all. Um, just now waiting on him. I contacted him and everything. And just letting, letting him know it's ready. He sent him some pictures and everything. So. Uh, and up here he wanted a uh, to, to restrain the knife like a leather strap so I, I put this uh, made this leather strap and um, made this antler um, like a something to tighten up the, uh, the cord up against his uh, knife right there and, and if, if he don't want that he can take that off and um, include this extra little strap right here that I cut off and everything and, dyed it and everything so if he wants that he can put that on there but anyway y'all just want to uh, show y'all what this uh, knife sheath uh, turned out how it turned out and everything uh, i think he uh, should be real happy like i told him it's not like the uh, original sheath but it is a uh, one of a kind custom made sheath so uh he's i believe he should be happy with it and it's, it's it's heavy duty i mean it's it's it's, it's built it's built to last it's like almost a half inch thick it actually is a half inch thick right in here and down here is about seven six inch inch and uh, what i did right there that fold over so it wouldn't have no um, rough leather on the outside right here 
uh, I just uh, beveled it down and it's, it's glued in within the layers of leather here so it gives a nice you know appearance on the front side also the back side and them copper rivets they they're gonna look real nice when it patinas and uh it's gonna, it's gonna look real good y'all um kind of mind of like a mountain man style sheath um uh, you know i don't know if they'd had they probably wouldn't have had nothing like that basket weave or whatever but it still looks uh, nice i like that design and uh but anyway y'all i just want to show y'all how that sheath turned out um i'm happy that you know it turned out like that you know i would be happy with it anyway um and i hope it looks good with this knife there and uh i appreciate y'all coming along appreciate y'all watching the videos y'all and uh if y'all got any questions or comments just leave them down in the description below and uh, as always friends for my family years y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye